Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a duct tape fedora. Now uh, this is my first uh, duct tape how-to video, and honestly my second how-to video of anything. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you guys will like this. Uh, this is a pure duct tape fedora. It's not a fedora wrapped in duct tape or something like that. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Uh, tonight. Um, now, the biggest thing, just a minute, I'm going to give you stuff to work with. One thing that you'll definitely need is a real fedora to start with. Now, between the two, there are some clear differences. I mean, I didn't make this one the same color. Yeah, but um, the definition, actually, in the two is a bit different. That's because this one's a lot thicker than this. The weight difference between this being probably a few ounces and this being nearly a pound. Um, personally, I'd rather wear this one because you know it's on your head. This one I can barely feel on my head. But um, you got to start with a real one. Uh, maybe ask your parents or uh, you know look in the closet or something. Maybe grandpa. Just see if uh, you know somebody you know has one. Um, cause you kinda need one of these to start now. The way I'm gonna show you is just using duct tape. But, if that seems a little challenging for this first layer, cause you're actually gonna be doing the sticky side out, like up, that if that's too challenging, just go ahead and take some tin foil or aluminum foil. It's the same thing, basically. Um, and you're gonna wrap it around the hat on the outside just so that the duct tape doesn't stick to it. Get that as flat as you can, and then you just you and then you just put the duct tape on that. Um, you can do that, but I kind of go to if I'm going to make it, I might as well make it pure. So that's what I did with this, and uh, let's get started. First thing you'll need is duct tape. Some sort of cutting utensil like scissors or some sort of hobby knife. More duct tape. A cutting board so that you don't cut into your table. Uh, if you don't have one of these, then you could use the uh, floor of your garage or something like that. If I didn't make it clear, lots of duct tape. And if you wish, get colored so that you can style your hat. Alright, well before we get going on making a pure duct tape fedora, if you're going, you know, an easier route, go ahead and take some aluminum foil and just completely cover the hat, and uh, that'll make it easier for you. If you aren't doing that, well, then you can go ahead with what I'm about to do. Alright guys, so to get started here, what you're going to do if you have one of these boards is stretch out some of the duct tape and uh, put it on the board. If you don't have one of these boards, it's perfectly fine. I didn't when I started. So if you don't have one, all you're going to have to do is just stretch out a bit of duct tape and cut it with some scissors, and that'll work perfectly fine. I've done it. The scissors, they cut through it easy, as I'm showing you here. At least the scissors I use. They cut a fairly straight edge, but they're just a little slow and annoying. And uh, cutting them with a uh, rolling hobby knife like uh, I'm about to here. It just works a lot faster and I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I like a nice straight edge. Um, one of these boards helps with this because you don't cut into the table and you don't have to lie down on the garage floor or something like that. Um, a hobby knife is just a good little thing to help get the tape back off easily here. See it gets a nice straight edge every time. Now, uh, the size for these sections you're going to cut out here is about two inches. And remember, nothing on this hat has to be exact. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly um, two inches. It doesn't have to be exactly three and a half inches or something like that. You can make it a little, like, close to two inches. It doesn't have to be exact. But um, right now, if you have one of these boards, go ahead and lay out a few of these strips and cut a whole bunch of two-inch sections.
Alright guys, so now you're actually going to be making this first layer, taking the two inch sections and putting them on the lower rim. Well, it's kind of the only rim. But uh, just slightly put uh, a bit of the duct tape under the uh, kind of collar, I guess it'd be, on the hat. Right there I was trying to use the hobby knife. Don't try that, it doesn't work. Just use your hands and uh, try and use your fingernails. Uh, as you can see in that one part of the hat, um, how it doesn't match up perfectly, don't worry about that. Um, just throw another strip of duct tape over that and it'll be perfectly fine. Um, you're going with the uh, rim first because you need the top of the hat to kind of have his handle and hold on to. And uh, this is a very tough layer and if you wish not to do this, go ahead with the aluminum foil. Um, this is just a way of doing the hat completely pure. Um, right now, uh, I'm just kind of making that little filler there. And this video right here, this is a bit of my uh, filming sped up. So what I do with my hands will probably look retarded. So um, pay no mind to that. This right here, though, is probably the hardest thing throughout the entire hat process especially when you get to this back part of the hat um, I just turned the hat around but when you get to that last bit of the hat I usually start from the front to the back but you can start from the back to the front that would probably make it easier the back of it is a very sharp curve um, up and that's just very hard to get in there with the duct tape and it not stick to you know the other strips and kind of mess up. You have to be very careful here and take your time. Um, like I said before, use your fingernails a little bit. The duct tape doesn't stick as well to your fingers as it does to your skin. Um, and just layer all of these through. Um, right here on this rim, you probably end up using about 30 of these strips, but it doesn't matter, you know, counting exactly how many you need. Just uh, make a ton of these little strips. All right, guys, so now that you're done with that first uh, layer, uh, these two-inch sections, if you did make a whole bunch of them and you still have leftover, don't worry about that. You'll use them later on the uh, top piece of the hat. Now, due to uh, me making this video at my grandmother's, some of this video of me actually putting uh, some of the duct tape on will not be shown. Um, I filmed this uh, a few days ago, and... Um, the hat's already done, so some of this won't be shown, but I'm doing my best here. Um, hope you guys can still get all of the info out of it. Um, now, you did the bottom first, and now you're actually going to the very top of the hat. You're going to be putting a strip right in the center of the hat, uh, and then working your way out, uh, and then cutting, go over probably about an inch or an, or an inch and a half over the edge of uh, the top of the hat. That'll get you uh, set up to the uh, current point in time. Now, once this is done, it'll look something like this. Um, have some more duct tape going over these edges, and it'll start getting that curve. This curve is quite hard, but not as hard as the you know bottom rim. Uh, I ran out of the uh, cheap stuff here, and um, I just thought it'd be more productive for me to move over to a double wide duct tape. If you don't have double wide duct tape, it doesn't matter, just use regular duct tape. And as you can see here, these uh, edges that are coming over, you're just going to cut those and just kind of fold them over a bit. And that'll start getting that curve even more and more. And then you'll put tape on the you know side of that and it'll make it uh, more of that curve. And you're just going to wrap the duct tape around the entire hat until you meet the rim at the bottom. Okay, here's how your hat should start to look um, after you've um, covered the uh, top section with duct, duct tape and matched it with the uh, bottom rim. Um, next we are going to cut small sections about the size of um, you know the tip of your finger. Uh, it takes uh, a very long time and it's a lot of little pieces so Go ahead and stretch out your duct tape and uh, get to cutting those. Um, I'm about to cut one for you here in the video, and they're just so tiny and time-consuming. Uh, it's just one of the most annoying things. And don't be afraid to take your time. 
on this or anything like that. Now, all these are doing, if you're wondering what they're for, it's actually adding structure to this hat. Um, they have to be this small so that you don't get a big curve or crease inside of your hat. Here's how the small layers start looking, or the small sections. You start layering them on like skin, or like scales, I should say, on a reptile or fish. And you're just going to layer them on and repeat, you know, a few hundred times. All right. So now that your small, annoying connecting layer is done, um, and this is how it should look. You are going to uh, just put the duct tape stick to stick, the sides, and the outside is now going to be the normal side of duct tape. Um, kind of like this right here that I'm showing you. Um, like that. That's what you're going to do. Except with larger sections and just cover the whole hat. Alright, so now this is how your hat should start looking after about three or four layers. Um, after you're all done with those layers, you're just going to peel the hat back a little bit, you know, the duct tape part of it, off of the real hat. The real hat is still going to want to stick inside of that little lip, and you're just going to put your thumb in there and pop it out. Once the hat is uh, popped out, you're going to push over that little rim and just fold it over so that it becomes more of a curved edge. If you'd like to color it, just grab some colored duct tape and... Uh, do another layer over it. Now you're sizing your hat. The hat's probably going to be bigger than your head, so to fix this, you're going to take some duct tape, roll it over itself, and then just kind of make a little roll of it and tape that on the inside to fix that. And that should make it about your size. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you later.